So we got six keys and I want a lockpick, and I want to see what this way out is. Although there are two things that might have required six keys. If we have six keys. Ultimate door logic finale. Okay. Press C to maneuver the camera. 92, 92 brown keys. Okay. So we can scroll the camera now. Uh huh. Yeah, of course, the, the some of the stuff goes off camera. <laughs> okay, what what am I even looking at? Two master keys. How, you're just going to immediately tell me, oh, you got some master keys to get rid of. That's that's great. So probably it's not very efficient to master key away this one and this one. But what do we do here? Could have at least given me an easy choice at the start. We have like green keys, but we don't even have any green keys. <laughs> oh my gosh! Erosion. Oh, we gotta circle all the way around. And what is this 92 garbage? This 92 makes it feel like I'm gonna have to go all the way around and open a bunch of doors. Fine, I'll just leave the doors here. I can't wait for this. Well, I mean, if there's multiple ways to get through, that's like also interesting and funny. There's like some negative brown keys to do. Well, we have one white key, so might as well. And now we would have one orange key that we would want to get, want to get rid of. Huh. We could also negative blast it away. We don't have... We are running out of the keys to do that properly. We got like 10 pure keys that we also need to get. Wait, that means that we need to go through this pure stuff before here. Huh. And what is this negative 12 cyan key like? What what evil is this? Fine, we'll go through this section first. Or try to do it anyway. Because like really there's only two paths. Except this one sucks. Okay, fine, the other one. That sucks too. We don't have that many pink keys at all. What are we supposed to do here? I mean, I could try to go from, a, from above. It seems like we are really unequipped to do this. I don't have the... I don't have the orange key here. It's highly worrying that to use this green key, we need this. And to use this, we need the red key. Um, unless this green is a joke, then what the hell? <laughs> I regret to inform you that the green key is not a joke because there is no... What the hell is this negative 99? <laughs> because we have erosion that we need to get through uh, here. Well, I didn't bother to count the amount of pure keys, but I'm sure it's 10. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Is there 11? No way. I think there's 10. <laughs> well, a 92 and 99 definitely implies a 7 that we leave behind. Not that we could ever be sure, because there's a lot of these, like, high value stuff. What the hell is going on here? There's also this zoom button, in case you wanted to take a picture and try to solve it that way. Which I guess is probably going to be the best option. So, I'm sorry if that's bait, but we are actually going to go through the this other secret area now. Which says, continue deeper, the back sides. The very lingo. What is going on here? We have stars, though they're not collectible. And this is like an entire second section, I guess. We got like 10, 11, and such like that. Well, let's go. Mooncloud Lake. Okay. 7-1, what are these? Hmm. So, bicolored doors. That's a white door with six orange? Hold on. What? I can't go through that. What about this? Okay, so it's like... It's like a white door, but when you use it, it decides to screw off orange's key count instead. So, a normal white door, it reduces your key count by... Uh, your white keys by six but this one decides to switch it to the other color well that means we still have six keys um looks like we do need 
Looks like we want six keys. But we want to get rid of them first. We want six keys for the white doors count, I think. Mm, but, but white is going to get screwed. What is this door? It's a white door with minus four orange pots. It's going to take a while to, to remember which of them is the thing that matters. For example, this is white door cost six orange. But I'm pretty sure the thing that will be removed is the white instead. So it's not really a cost on orange, it's a cost on white. So I think I should not open this, but still, I want to know what I should do here. Shouldn't I keep my... I need to talk this auto-run thing again. And now I'm suddenly screwed out of getting that because I don't have minus four orange keys, which is what I need. Is, was, was it possible for me to open the blank earlier? That's a little annoying. No. Hmm. Staying concept, but I don't get it immediately so far. What if I get... Can I get rid of this earlier? Or, my, or do I really need that? I mean, alternatively, I can go for the minus four, but I thought that would be pointless because I don't have the positive... I wouldn't have the positive keys to make that one work. Well, I could... Hmm. Let's say I did that, which I think is going to be failing. Then, by this point, I'll be able to blast door this open. Wait, I'm at negative four keys, which is what I wanted. Okay. Maybe that was good, because for some reason I thought that I should get the... should get this door to be triggered when my key count was... Uh, negative two, but it seems like it's actually better if it is negative four. So it goes to zero, and then we're done. Okay, buy color doors. Oh no, is there gonna be anything else? The blank doors? Well. Okay, but what is this then? Ow. This doesn't affect the key count, does it? Well, that one may maybe. Hmm. What is the point of these? Let's go through this one for no reason here. We're at zero, which isn't actually where we want to be. Hmm. Double door that requires the two orange. But is it actually good for me to spend it there? And this one we can't open because it is not both. Because we don't have blank purple. I think this is just a control. Like, this is equal to a regular blank purple. This is equal to a regular blank orange. I think. So... Still... At least in the cyan keys do not feel great. And we're screwed here. I don't get it. We should analyze more. Why did this turn so blue? I guess if we spend too long on a puzzle, this is just what happens. It's getting even more blue. Well, I still suck at it. Like, surely we have to interact with this door, which requires two orange. We'll spend the purple, which means that we do this. It's good because it gets rid of purple. Okay, we got it. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, 7-3. I think I get it. Yeah, okay. Gosh, both in a condition to open the formula. That has only happened now. Yes, it's it's based on the spend color. <laughs> Gotta predict what these do before you touch them. Costs all the orange. 
but really will destroy all the cyans. What? Okay, that's not what I was expecting. It destroys the specific amount of cyan. Um, it destroys... <laughs> It pretends to destroy all my orange keys, which is negative five, but then it redirects to cyan, so it's negative five cyan. So this will turn orange to three then. Oh gosh, and we have sign flip keys. It's possible to get them negative. Okay. This has gone too far. And I can ignore this sign flip key too. There's like a burst. So that can go to zero. This should have opened sooner. We, after all, probably need them in order to... Because we have an odd-even problem going on right now. Yuck. <laughs> this is not helping. Hmm. This will remove based on the other color. Which is four. So we should probably try to alternate them. Wow, it's turned to cyan. That's beautiful. And again, these blasters only open if I have positive counts of them. You give us one one, and the keys are identical now. What's the problem? It's green. You're... Wow. It's, it's pretty beautiful. Does negative one do anything interesting? Nope, it just prevents me. But I need both open, right? Hold on, I can just decide to break the... This is, this is not a identical situation, because... Breaking this to zero allows me to open a door earlier. Then I can ignore the other state. Then open this. There we go. Wall. Anyway, now I've just delayed the, the the fact that I have to think on the next level. The skyfish. That is a lot of 24 doors and a blank white door at the end. All minus cyan. So I need a negative cyan to open it and it will destroy my whites. Oh gosh, I need another one? That means I should probably duplicate this count then. I want negative 18. I mean, negative 16. Shoot. What? Is this too much? 24. Hmm. Unless I modify the count while I'm doing it. want a negative 16, so one of these is too much, right? Probably doing this was a bad idea. I'm still lower than I want to be. That's still the wrong number. Hmm. I want 48 total. But I can't get it with um, just slamming into all doors at once. So I wanted to have negative 14 to increment this count by plus 14 two times. No, this doesn't make any sense. I will need to probably use a negative one as the modifier here. Oh gosh, this is very much a math level. There's no way I can get away with this just by doing negative 18, right? I'm clearly losing it. Let's get to uh, 48. This is currently over by... Well, I'm currently under by 6. So let's get the negative 3. Okay, there you go. Don't even need to touch two of them. Lol. Anyway, we're done with that. Where's the next one? It, the next one is never where you expect. Alright, unchangeable. We're forced to- What is that? It's locked at its current value. 
Wow, a simplifier. Beautiful. So when I pick up a star key, that four gets locked into place. So nothing affects that four. I, I'm sure there's going to be something that freaking deletes the star key effect. Okay. But this is a purple door that requires four white. And while the cost is four white, we'll remove four purple keys for me. Is it possible to destroy anything else? Well, yes, with a master key. Master key will probably not change anything when I destroy that. I need zero master keys by then. Hmm. I'm just destroying a random door there. And I will need to have my... What did that do? That was negative four purple. So need a negative four purple to exist. However, it, it would have affected white keys, but it does not because I have the star effect. And I will need to somehow fix my blank situation. Now, there's also a purple star key. It looks like I might need to get it, but... The five... The five key there is such a bait. It makes it seem like my master key should be saved here. But there's nothing I can actually open here. Hmm. That's very strange. Like, that purple star key implies that what I need to do is get to that side and use the star key so that my purple stays at zero. But I don't know if that's actually true. And again, I cannot avoid the star key in any way. Currently, I'm in experimentation stage. So I'm not gonna Gain my negative four purple keys this way. There's some sign flipping I can do. There's a big negative. Still, I don't see any way to change my purple keys away from this parity. Wait. Well, I, could, I can open this now. I thought I couldn't. Well, that was dumb, huh? Oh wait, we did we did get to it. Yes, this is perfect. Now purple is locked and then we can go through. Yes. Okay, I knew that would that had to happen. Seven six. Oh no. Okay. We have a blank door. Uh huh. Dude. That did not affect my master keys in any way, so what is the point? It could have been just a regular cyan door, right? Okay, if a door has any gold on it, Master Keys can't affect it. Okay, so that's immune to Master Doors then. And we have this disgusting 60. Although Master Keys can only help in this section. I don't know why they, they could have just have been a blank, uh, I mean, a Master Key Blast Door, but okay. So we need to have zero pink. I don't know if the 20s are bait, but like, we decide to destroy those. Instead, 3, 2, 1. I, that cyan, this is the, this must be how the cyan goes away, because 2 plus 3 plus 1, wait. That is, is that, set? no, it's, no, this definitely is the one that's destroyed, and the other cyans do not play. Hmm. Five Master Keys seems like a lot. Am I wrong with that? <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. The intuitive solution worked. Seven, seven. Oh, good. A star key remover. Well, I could blank. It seems like a not so good idea, though. Unless. This is a good reason to use that. That door requires four cyan. So, probably don't remove it. And then we have a star key thing going on in there. But why? Why would I lock it at some point? We need negative eight. 
So, I guess all of these purples are a bad thing to have? Maybe? And... Our cyan keys. Do they have a need to be a certain value as well? I do need the two master keys down there. And of course, having a bunch of cyan to work with would be cool. But... Cyan is, a, is very interesting because it seems like I want my I want to have five and then do something here that allows my cyan to go up to eight. I'm not sure though. So that one can be left behind. Maybe. I want to destroy all this stuff. This is weird with the four. Unstart and well, I don't need to break that open at all unless I want to open the blank, which makes sense. I want to open the blank. It's zero and open and get another master key. Wait. First of all, get rid of blues maybe, and then open that. So now we have eight, which is the number we wanted. I just don't know if anything else is correct about the situation. Okay, and now I want to keep eight. Hmm. A star purple key. Was there any point where I had blank on purple? Because now I'm regretting things. Well, let's keep it on eight. That was not keeping it on eight. Cool. Okay, let's keep, again, keep that on negative eight. Ah, uh, you were really close on huh? Or maybe not, but still. Almost had the setup. So here, I, I basically just destroyed these doors. Here I can go here and get this blank very quickly. If that's a good thing, of course. And then, maybe it's possible, because the, the very right side is suspicious, because it implies that if I'm negative 4, there's still a way to fix this and get to 8. Anyway, let's let's get this set up over here. And get this to eight. The door should still be locked up high. We are screwed on cyan actually. Um that sucks. Hmm. Did I ever have a good opportunity? I mean, I could, like, open this up early, but that just seems obviously bad. Well, I'll lock those. Let's see if this idea works out. Get rid of that. And... Okay, let's just go over here, why not? Wait, we... What, what the hell do we use our master on? Hmm. Still not great. Seven is the highest we've been. Choose to go over here. I don't know if I'm like just you not thinking about the middle row in the way that I should or something like that. Because I can do that and potentially use what I have here just to get a blank still. It's still kind of ugly to get a blank here, so yeah, this actually doesn't look good. What, what does this do for me? If I wanted to do this, I could have just master keyed away the one of the eight doors or something like that, and then had less cyan keys for later. So I don't even know why I'm breaking the corridor with that. You know, there is an alternative to getting this to five. I could destroy these one cost doors instead of this one. And like what to use the master key on this then? It's like potentially interesting. I don't know if I use this so early on, but like it makes some sense, I guess. Uh, I don't like using this, but eh, it's a good idea or a stupid one. I can go here now. Negative three is a poopy count. How did that happen? Like, did that or? And did I fail to retain my star keys effectively? I'm not sure. 
I just felt that like maybe that would be that would be a good idea. Well, I could keep it, right? I can do this and keep it. Okay. Whoa, hold on. Get this instead. Okay, this was what I wanted to see. Because I can, like, destroy both of these doors. And it's, like, good. Okay, there we go. Very good. Very nice. I love how the solution is to not do what I did. Okay, level 7, 8, where are you? There we go. Digits on display. What is going on here? We need a 24 class cyan. There's a lot of a mess. Okay. Well, I need this key. There is nothing I can do without it. And I need to open one of these doors. Do I want a 2? Wait, that's not a 2. That'll give us... Oh no. This is gonna get really complicated. Um, even doing this allows access to the negative doors, but ultimately I do want access to all the cyan keys I can get. This gives us negative purple keys, but we really want... I think we want positive purple keys? I don't know. I don't want to remove cyan keys. Looks like a bad idea. This might be the only one that I... Well, shoot. Do you want to go to negative sign keys just to open that door? That might be a good, great idea. And then we have this negative purple going on. Who wants to open 8 for 2? Be the bestest deal? Still, even if the things on the right look really tempting, I'm not sure I can go for them. And in this case, now there's no purple I can possibly go for. Can go for negative? Okay. Screw that. Screw that idea. Let's try to get some negative, uh, cyan, maybe. How? We need to remove cyans to do this. So one logical opportunity is to get to 8 cyan, open the real cyan door, and then maybe use the negative? Getting that negative is key though. I don't know. That does not seem like a good use of negative. All it wants was some good negative cyan doors, not really to take that key. So... Okay, now let's open the negative cyan doors. And are we in a better position or not? Is my question here. I can obtain. Was there any good point where I wanted to have a zero sort of number? I'm just barely missing some of this stuff. Like this one needs a. Uh... A lot of cyan keys, but other than that is free. 14. 24. I am... I am pretty sure that means I'm screwed. Still, like, I like this idea that I was going for. It just seems like I, I need to save a lot more cyan keys, though. Is this good? Does it save my cyan keys? Like... How much does it cost to get this six over here? Is it a lot? I need to have negative four of that to... I need to minus eight my cyan keys to get this. And that is a little bad. I'm going to go and open up the... Well, hold on. Was it really a stupid idea to do this? Because adding the things I have here don't work. I wonder how long I have to play until you decide I've lost my mind. Got to this position, which is kind of close, but I need to have eight purple keys. I really do. I mean, one way to get that would be to do this in this position. And break that. It's gonna work. Shoot, that means I will need to show up, show off how I got here. <laughs> hmm. I'll try to recreate this afterwards. Oh, 
Rafa Ferro. Well then, that just works. There you go. Okay, how did I do this? I'm sorry, please look away. Okay, so I went over here. For, shoot, I already forgot the first move. Okay, I need to recreate my solution here because it didn't record. I was just messing and uh, here. So I need to open this but not take the key. I want to have a good amount of purple keys. And I want my cyan to go to nothing. So I grab these. Go. Okay. So now I have a negative amount of cyan keys. I do want to open that, but not but ignore the eight over there. So now I have a bunch of cyan keys available, and the, my remaining doors are actually like perfectly good to open because all I need is a bunch of sign keys and that will happen to get my purple to negative so I don't need to care that this is not openable for me right now so yeah and I just ignore the other doors because it was not efficient to use that cyan 8 just to open up these cyan doors but okay we got there there we go okay 7-9 is coming up Key maze. Oh no. Oh no. So, blank white door, some star keys exist, so I can just ram through keys, I suppose. I can also see if I can get a good high negative key counter. Is there even an star key available for me to get? Okay. Here we go, here's our unstar key. Now we can see what it's like to have a huge negative count. Wait, that's an equality key. Freaking fool. This negative this 99 thing is really showing its face. Yep, we can get to negative. Now I want to see if I can mess with the counter, but I don't know. Anyway. This is And that is an equality key, too. The stuff at the bottom is full of these equality pieces of nonsense. So because of equality key, there's some number that we start on that's, like, good, I think. But I don't know what it is. Or maybe it's just, like, all these are exact keys. Negative 32. So if you take that, you can get minus 10 off of it. I should really pay attention to the non-exaction keys, but I don't see any positive. It's all just negative keys. So it's like a well, but I could also take from the exact white key. Is that possible? Because I have a negative key here. I could potentially like go from 92, negative 64, and take some of the other minuses. Um, good luck doing math here. Even I bait like this exact negative three, knowing that there's no good way to get any positive keys at all. Oh, look at this. I take this 92, and with minus 16, minus 34, minus 64, minus 4, and I have 8 left. That is an interesting number because there was an 8 available. Although, I might get screwed anyway because. The 8 was here, and that is something that is in a row. I need to get to the other side in order to pick up this 92, so that might be a troll. That I can't actually get to the other side and then retain all these negative keys. Although, I did also take this negative 32, but I don't know. So probably what I should pick is the 71, the 92 is a troll. Um, or maybe the 77, but that seems like it's worse. I don't know. Still, there needs to be a way to get to the 71. And if I'm picking an odd number, I need to keep this negative one key alive. I'm sure. Not, not comfortable with destroying any row, but that is something that's forced when you do something like that. So when I have 71, what do I retain? Well, there's a bunch of, like, star keys in the way, but if I do that, I'm at 7, and... 
negative 4, negative 2, negative 1 are all available here, so... Okay. Let's sort of try to get it with the star key active. The only annoying thing is that there is a... There's, there's a 92... No, that isn't actually in the way. Okay, let's do it. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. It's cool that the star key mechanics uh, just allow you to destroy keys without caring, but also equal keys do the same thing. Anyway, we are at 71, and you can just subtract 1. I screwed this one up. I'm silly. Okay, get this 92 out of here. Okay, there we go. We actually got it this time. Here. Here. I do wonder if the cuts are annoying or, like, make it hard to track stuff because I'm just cutting out walking most of the time, but I did notice on rewatch that's a little hard to focus on. But anyway, that's over. Seven ten is up here. Well, that's forced. Okay. Painted doors, and we have blanks that require cyan, orange, and blue. None. And the master is just there so that they can't be destroyed by master keys. Okay. Hmm. This is going to be another key. The first thing is, how are you supposed to destroy this master or one as a four cost? You can't get rid of it. So, is there a way to... That is a plus one master key. <laughs> That's nuts. That is effectively plus one master key. Because it's a negative blue door that um, adds onto master. So, I mean, I guess that means that you just go through those. Unless there's other stuff to do because we need this plus one master key and the you, you don't want to destroy those with master keys and we need this to unlock that makes me really nervous that I did something incorrect obviously because that was just a straight line path anyway i need five painted to get rid of some of these painted doors we have a blast door thing over there i should do something about it This cost five blue, which means it will get my orange down to a negative value. We still technically have master keys that can destroy stuff. So we have two master keys of leeway. And we can get rid of some painted doors this way. I don't know if that's a good idea. Like just because they even if they exist doesn't mean it's a good thing to get rid of. And then we have this, which gives us plus one sign, effectively. Uh, don't we want some of the destroys orange doors, though? I'll bring us back to negative. And again, our final goal is actually to change our key counts to zero for all of them. It would have been better to destroy cyan first. Now I'm in an odd spot. Okay, this doesn't look good at all. And Cyan is going to have a real tough time getting to its correct count. So I don't know. Hmm, there's way too many options here. Oh, well, I can just destroy this earlier on if I want to get rid of it. Still. Cyan, you really need something to get this out of here. And for five... If I had five blues, I could do it. Which means master key? I mean... That gets the negative one, but... I don't know if that was a good thing. I can go up there and turn, my, turn it back to uh, zero. It's so weird because I'm leaving one of those things underneath in a bad spot as well. Unless I master key it away. Yeah, you can see here that... Wait, 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 wait. I thought painted required five blue for some reason. Okay, then I can just get rid of it now. Although... 
don't know if that's a good idea. But anyway. Hmm. We're still at a bad level for getting si getting the rest of the two colors down. This would have been better if I had eight originally. But hmm. is that door wanna break? I'm not sure. Oh wait, this brings us to nine? If I had negative keys? Okay, that, that's like really good for really good to get cyan down. Hmm. This position. I think this was good, but there's no way I ever get to that silly cyan negative 8. I mean, negative 2. Like, how is that even going to happen? There's nothing that can make that happen, so I'm just going to mask feed away. And for this, I don't want to get rid of any blues, so I'm getting rid of that one. Now, I do want to keep painted, so that's also another reason. Then I can get these all, all removed. But now I'm not sure what to do. There is that five, and it's making me wish I'd mess with keep this away. But uh, if we want to get our oranges down, it's gonna bring us back to negative as well. I don't know if I should have done that earlier as well. Hmm. This looks terrible. Is there any other way to fix it? Wait, I forgot again that like that I can get my I can do it with three things. Not that it would not, not that it would help, but it suck, but still. Hold on. Give me a message key back. Let's destroy that. And get to first of all, we don't do that. We want to get rid of the painter. I'm not sure that we uh do it here, but we just better do it earlier. Now we have negative four and our painted key is back. Get rid of this though, so I can get my uh cyan to be good count. Yes, there we go. Now we have everything. Great. Okay, and here we go. Here's and everything. Okay. Shoot. Do I finally do bonus, uh, bonus level of this? Because the worlds are getting longer. <laughs> anyway, see ya. Maybe. So, lockpicks extra levels in World 7. Get a high score. 256 keys. Uh... <laughs> Okay, so we have a bunch of blast doors, and the counter is also extended to be long, so I'm sure we can have some excellent stuff going on there. We can get some negative keys if we do this, and it's probably going to have some sort of way that it adds, like, you see how we are negative three, and this blast door that uses the other key brings us to six, because it takes the negative three, uh... <laughs> And it would otherwise add three to cyan, but instead adds three to purple. So, a uh, huge mess, basically. We can obviously just keep doubling, but it likely not work as well as you think. Now, the most annoying part is that there are the doors look barely indistinguishable from each other because they're only distinguishable from the color scheme. Okay, so a random. Just random motions get us to 177 already. <laughs> this doesn't seem to do anything. Well, it, it increased our negative number. No, it didn't. Why did... Huh. That's very weird. Oh, it only increased it because I went... Um, I had a higher purple at that point. Okay, but we're still not anywhere close to the number we need. How does random movement get you only, like, <laughs> only, in quotes, like, 13 below the needed number? I also choose to do this later, but I don't know if that's good either. Oh. <laughs> it's, okay, so the puzzle is a joke. Um, the get a high score is probably so that some crazy person can go and, uh, and actually try to get the high score, but I am not going to do that. 17. Huh. What? 
Okay, so brown keys were never used um, in this world before. Brown keys infect other doors so that they become brown, but in this case, you're gonna change even the bicolor doors brown. So it'll act like a normal door that case. Yeah, okay, it doesn't really affect the effect. And also, pure doors cannot be affected by my brown curse. And if, if I have any brown keys at all, I will be cursed to turn the things brown. I'm not sure what to do here. Um, let's see. We could ignore that for now. That's a good idea. But... This, this negative? Okay, I guess the pure... The pure doesn't really... No, it, it gives the pure keys, but as a side effect, it also prevents the cursing as well. But anyway... Seems like we should just use negative keys for both of these, right? And then now that I have two pure keys, I can first open this. What do we need to exit? We need one red key because this door is frozen. So it needs one red key in order to unfreeze the door. And then after it's frozen, we need to break it by having zero brown keys. However, we need this brown negative key somehow, so... I don't know, maybe we need to obtain a bunch of orange keys? That doesn't seem possible, though. But if we do that, we sign flip the two red keys. I think getting to the not a good idea. We need some pure keys as well. There's a negative here. I think that's a pure... That, that really is an orange door. I didn't mean to say pure at all, by the way, there. Go to negative four. That didn't help that much. I have way too many pure keys. Interestingly, I can drop my pure keys to this. And once I have negative, once I have negative brown keys, I become pure. So when I have this effect around me, it means that it reverses the effects of any first brown doors. Hmm. Another brown door? As if I needed ways to reduce my brown keys, but. Hmm. This is really strange. And also, this freaking didn't really even work. It just gave me negative five brown keys. Wait, what? Hold on. No, ah, I'm just trying to break this door. I need to have no brown keys to break it. Hmm. But I already got the way I entered this in the first place was having brown keys though. I don't know if I'm doing things correctly. But... Yeah, we can have seven. I get a three. And then I can get to zero normally? Thing is, I, I want to go here. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, I was really close. I don't know why, uh... Yeah, for some reason you don't need to hit any of these at all. Freaking red herring fill level. Um... But yeah, I noticed I was really close to winning, and it turns out I just am here. So I just need negative three browns and then a red key to break that open. There we go. Next is 7C. Wreak Havoc. Wreak is only ever used with the word Havoc after it. Anyway, Star Master Key. <laughs> okay, so... So, first of all, if I have a gold master key, I can just break any door without caring, which is very nice. I hope that the entire level is that easy, because uh, like it's like satisfying to get rid of them all. But anyway, this door has five eroded me to clear it away, and I don't even know how I'm going to get to five green. I guess the only way is if I use one of the bicolor doors to gain me some green keys. So I would need a negative purple kind of key. Okay. But to get anywhere near the amount of keys, I think I need to go over here. I'm not sure. This doesn't seem it's quite correct to me. But like, that'll give me one green key, which is interesting and nice. 
But only that color scheme will do it. And the others I'll have to break apart, otherwise they just ruin my key status. I think I have to restart and do something at the top, because none of these are helping very much. But then, is there a way to obtain more green keys? The only way I can think of is starting from here. Negative keys. Wait, whoa, 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 wait, wait. I know that I want to start by having a key because if I don't have any keys, uh, if I don't have any purple keys, I'm never winning at all. But this is some good negative keys. I cannot break. Hmm. And the color scheme has changed. Okay, so that probably is intended because now I have this. Do I break this? With no, I don't have enough for negative. That didn't look good. Uh, I was so close to feeling something, I don't know. Hmm. Well, going there didn't help out. Well, maybe we should just leave it there. Okay, now that I have three purple keys, I can get to negative four green keys by using that door. And now here, I have negative four... Uh-oh. Uh I don't have negative four purple keys. Um... My entire goal here is to have is to have five green keys so I can get rid of this eroded here. I need to have five green keys. I don't know how. And plus I need to sign flip this too, right? Effectively. I need to sign flip my green so that it's good. But I don't see any door that's really green. Well, I think I need to use negative four purple keys so I can go and break the green, uh, break the green door with this specific color scheme. Like here, 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 and here are all fitting, but not the other one. Hmm. Wait, hold on. We got to negative four. Okay, look at this. We got to negative. Um, no, we got to positive four purples, and I can turn this back to a negative. Shoot. I was not- I was supposed to spend the green. Look at this. Oh, that's good. I have to spend the negative four green so I can get to four and then get to five. There we go. So now we have the five eroded. Five green keys, which is what we needed in order to break eroded. So there we go. Next. Oh no, it's a big, big, big level. Hmm. The brown key curse affects the doors which need an aura to be opened. Okay, yeah. So, auras are like frozen, aka this is this frozen status effect means I need to have a, a single red key to break this effect. But I can still use a brown key um, in order to turn this door into a brown door even though it's frozen so they're basically distinct effects but i need to have one red key in order to break this and the 12 white keys obviously but i'm not really sure about any other details okay so that gives me brown key negative brown keys for I don't know if that's good, but that is like an easy way into unfreezing that, but I still need a ton of white keys, which are basically everywhere. Now, I there is no brown key pickup in this level. Uh, oh, except for that one at the top. Okay. And that is, I think, not skippable. It was a little suspicious. Okay, but if I... Wait. So... Hmm. What could have picked these. This seems like a joke though, because I like, can't open that red door. So shouldn't I just go for this? Well, the cyan doors remaining do not... Well, well there are cyan doors that... No, wait. Uh, I'm being dumb again. I don't care about cyan doors, except maybe, maybe if I need to break this orange one. 
Let's just try some things. Like, there's that interesting one with the pink that, like, can get rid of all of my, uh, doors. Oh, my Seriously? I can't get to this 12? What a troll. I don't have master keys to break that apart either. Am I gonna break out the 10 again? Hmm. Okay, it looks like I am not able to do this right now. I'm going to need to use the brown keys to infect things, because otherwise I can't do this. Like here, so I can get to 12 and then destroy that. If that's the way to get a blank down here, but it might not be. And it really is a sort of expensive to... Like, look at this orange. This orange... There's literally... I need to break all the orange doors in order to get to... Get, get, get this blank orange door broken. Actually, this red... Oh, God. I have no idea whether this red door is a troll or not anymore, because brown keys could destroy the... could destroy this entire setup. And that would, like... Because I don't know which of the white keys are the path of getting in this white door. And... Now I'm not sure if breaking this red was the way to go. Although keep in mind that I will need to still break all the oranges. Like, I know I need to break this orange, so that one's going immediately. But all the other paths I could easily screw myself over on. There's this trolley thing going on here where I cannot break this si blank sign door. Uh, actually I could if I had brown. But... This blank sign door couldn't be broken normally because I don't have enough uh, the right setup in order to break the blank sign door with just these unless uh, I use this one. But that one is gated by orange. So I don't know about that one. I'll try to break that I guess. And use my brown keys. Ow. Okay, I'm using my brown keys and I'm going to Oh, that it can accidentally be affected. Well, I can have negative brown keys to cure it, so whatever. But yeah, I just wanted to make it a blank of the world. And... Now I'm going to assume that we don't use pink. So those break. We still use sign- I'm, I am over-assuming, perhaps, that I'm getting to this white key. If I'm not getting to that white key, then my entire uh, assumptions are broken. Run out of. I am running out of good doors to open. Hmm, that's bad. I could choose to not break the one. Oh, I can break this down here. I'm not liking my. Si Wait, no, no, no. I can just break this cyan and now it's zero uh, brown keys. Should be a good thing. Break these. Get to negative four so that I can fix the curse that I just did on this. Now, be a little careful still, but I think we might have gotten it. I was for some reason worried to, and I wanted to have zero cyan keys, but I don't think that's actually necessary. Anyway. Look at this. And we have 12 keys available. Uh, 12 white keys that we needed. And funnily enough, the top right key is the one that was unused, which is kind of funny for some reason in my mind. I thought it was the top right that I got, but no. Anyway, that was nice. 70s system. Hmm. Okay. Oh, this is really complicated. We have a bunch of sign flip keys. So we can start with a negative for some reason. And colored doors that create white keys, apparently. So a, a create six white keys by doing that. Hmm. So I need to... I need to prepare my key number to be 
something that works to have this entire situation happen? Like, what is this? It also destroy all of my keys. Well, no, it doesn't destroy all any of my keys. But, huh. And the sign flip is probably the last thing that I ever hit with one of these. So let's, like, I don't know, I'm gonna pick three random numbers. Three, seven, and one. Oops, one. And now, like, I guess we can just watch how this will go. Well, that, that, was, that was terrible. I also cannot at all go through this door. Um, I guess the only way is if they're functioning as subtraction doors. Um, and that would happen if I did not sign flip. Then, then I would go through the other side and they would be subtractions. But in this case, I don't have the subtraction on me. It's 17. Although I do go through the store three times, so odd number stays on in that case. How about six? I don't know. And don't sign flip it. So I can subtract the number. So negative six, twenty-one. So that's bad because it's too high. And well. I could I could make little adjustments to make that work. For the first door anyway, which is like I don't know. Kinda like luck based if you just try to adjust it over and over, but anyway. So five, three, six. Once I subtract five, I do the I do the plus three twice. And then plus six twice. Why am I why am I math so bad? Okay. Hmm. I guess I could go to plus seven if I wanted to. And then that would be that would go through the first game for sure. Yes, that would go through the first game. And now we have to have this, this a setup that works just as well for the rest of the things. This one doesn't because it is one. Um, and every time we go through one of these like gates, the result is I'm pretty sure the same. Because you already get rid of the viable ones on the, the ones that you just left. Hmm. That's like exactly one. Yes, you could probably graph this as like a math equation or something. It was already thinly veiled math and graph theory before. Now it is truly so. Okay, it's time to admit it. I'm too bad at math to explain, like... Like, I can't seem to get one of the variables isolated. So I'm just going to try to do an intuitive solve. So first of all... If I subtract all these equations against each other, like 3x minus 2x minus x, I get this equation with uh, 4y minus 2z equals negative 2. If you divide both sides by 2 and um, also get rid of the negative signs, that's basically multiplying each side by negative 2, you get this equation. And if you plug that into here, uh, because... Since you have a 2y and a z, you can just get rid of that, and you will get x plus 2z back. And because it creates a negative 1... Uh, well, no, it creates a positive 1 on this side, on the left side, so you would need to subtract a minus 1 to keep the right side, uh, just to have only the number on the right side. So, finally, we get to these equations. And first of all, I'd like to point out that I think what this means is that 3y is our is our negative number here, and 3z is our big positive number. Like, things can't be 0 because 0 doesn't open gates. But the only way that 3y can be the biggest and 2 sucks is basically if y is some crappy negative number. And with parity, because an even number can't create an odd, I also know that z is an odd number here, because that's the only way a 1 can end up in this position. So basically, we get to the position where z is a high number, that is odd, and y is a negative number that is also basically like around half of z, because 2y and z must be very close for that to equal 1. Okay, enough of that crap. Um, as, okay, now you can watch me fail, I guess. So. As a reminder, Z was set as purple, so a very high odd number is 7. 
and a low number that is, uh, well, we need Y, which is orange. This makes sense. To be 3 and 7. Okay, and Y is negative. Keep in mind that negative and positive are actually kind of reversed in this scenario because, oh, I love this, that we just went to 137. Um, so when, whenever I said positive in those equations, I actually meant, uh, I actually meant negative because the blast doors basically invert the numbers. So, okay. I guess that's 437 then. Wait. Is it? Because this is subtracting stuff. No, that doesn't make sense at all. Let's set um, orange to 5, maybe? Well, orange doesn't have the, the same odd versus even problem as the other one did. Let's set it to two then. And the thing is, I'm pretty sure that the the cyan is also a negative number. Right? Question mark. This this is getting confusing. I should be paying more attention. Let's make orange higher, but also cyan higher. How close are we? We're at 17. Okay, that happens to break it. That gets to 2. And over here, that gets to 17. So, there we go. <laughs> that was, like, the poopiest way to solve it. Uh, you don't get the satisfying maths. Uh... <laughs> I gotta hire someone who actually knows how to play this game. Anyway, so that was the whole world, and there we go. Next one is Etched Stone Clip, whatever that is. So, yeah, see ya. Bye.